everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are doing a Bible journaling page with highlighters. So I just got some new highlighters from Mr. Penn. I will link their shop and the item down below. But um, I know some of you were interested in seeing if the, the highlighters read through or not. So I did pick a Bible that has like one of the most thin Bible pages that I own, so that way we can test them out together. So I'm probably not gonna use all the colors, but we'll see what colors I wanna use. We have quite a few different colors. I have two different sets of highlighters, but I think I'm gonna use just the bigger set. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right, so I'm probably gonna go in Psalms, because usually there's Psalms that are a lot bigger. So let's see. All right, so I think I'm gonna go into Psalm 57, verse, uh, I think it's just one. I might highlight a little bit more than that, but Psalm 57, verse one, um, it says, Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for my soul trusts in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. So that's the verse we're gonna be using today. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer before we start journaling. Dear Lord, thank you for our time together, Lord, and I just pray that you'll help us encourage and grow in our faith in you, Lord God, and just thank you, Lord God, for the creativity that you give each of us differently, Lord God, and everything that you give us is a gift from you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm probably going to use just a couple of different colors. I'm not exactly sure what colors I want to use, but we'll see what looks good together, I guess. Let's see. Use those. Um, maybe I'll use an orange. I'm not sure about the orange. <laughs> uh, let's see. And maybe I'll use the pink. Yeah, that looks good together. Okay, so we'll use those four, I think. I, I wouldn't use all the colors, but it is a lot of colors, so... I actually think I'm going to highlight this verse too, which uh, is verse 7 and 8. It says, My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise. Awake my glory. Awake, lute and harp. I will awaken the dawn. So I'm actually going to do that in pink. So we'll see how these highlighters work. I honestly, just by testing them last week, I thought they honestly were really nice. I might even switch highlighters and go to these even though I don't like to. I like to stick with the colors that I have used before but honestly these are really nice highlighters so I'm going to highlight just a couple of different verses in different colors. So this is more of like a bluish gray. I thought it was more of a like lighter blue but it's more of a bluish gray. And then I'm going to go back to that first verse and use a couple of the other colors. This is like a light purple, purple gray. So it, they could be different colors on different Bible pages as well. Like if you have like the Bibles with the more yellow pages, they could look a little bit different. Okay, so that one was a little bit kind of a mauve pink. And then I'm going to use this kind of mint green color to do the last verse. All right, so this green is actually the very lightest color. It's actually kind of hard to see that color, so maybe I'll change it out later. But so for the most part, here's what it looks like on the back. It did like only one color, like right there, but it could be because it was still wet um, and it didn't dry yet. But for the most part, it does not bleed through. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple different colors and just, I think I'm just gonna do hearts because I have done hearts before on my pages, but Never done it with highlighters. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see. I think I'm going to use the pink for that as well as maybe I'll use the purple. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do pink and purple hearts. So these are the colors that I'll be using. And I'm just going to doodle some hearts. And what's nice about highlighters is, you know, it won't cover up the words. So you can just go ahead and draw hearts wherever you want to. So it is a bullet tip. I actually think bullet tips work better for hearts. That was a lousy heart, though. <laughs> that was a lousy heart. That was my fault. 
But yeah, I actually like bullet tips for heart making. I don't know why, but my hearts are turning out way better than they usually do. And you can color them in if you want to. I think if you color them in, they might end up bleeding through a little bit more. So um, just because, you know, you put a lot more ink on the page. But yeah, as far as just regular hearts go, they don't bleed through, which is awesome. So definitely highlighters are the way to go if you want to doodle on your pages and just have fun with hearts or smiley faces or whatever you want to draw. Definitely highlighters are a great option for things that don't bleed through. If you want like more of, of a color versus like a color pencil or something. And I always like doodling. I might even do some flowers with these. That might be fun. Maybe I'll do that soon. That would be a fun one. Okay. So let's see. Where else do I want some hearts? I don't know why like I'm going in between the words. I don't have to. It doesn't bleed through or it doesn't cover up the words. But let's see. See, I like this pink is like going to be my new favorite color. I really like this pink. And maybe I'll put another one maybe right here. I always like to use products, especially in this Bible, um, that don't bleed through. Also, be careful when you put your tips in. I, it was my fault, but I think I bent the one tip by accident. I either either pressed it on something weird, but I did break one of my tips. But that was that was my fault because I probably wasn't careful putting the cap back on. But that can go for any highlighter, probably. But I do really like these highlighters. I like the colors. Colors are really pretty, so let's go ahead and see what they look like. So yeah, no bleed through. Um, there's like a very tiny shadowing down at the bottom here. But yeah, so I would definitely say that these work amazing. I'm actually going to go ahead and color in a few of the smaller hearts at least, just to see if we can color it in. I'm not going to color in all of the hearts, but maybe one or two here and there. I honestly probably don't like them colored in. I I think I prefer them just, um, just plain hearts, but at least I can color in a couple just to show you what it looks like and stuff. So see if it bleeds through or not. Yeah. So just a couple of hearts I'm going to color in. I think that's good. I don't, I didn't want to color in too many of them because I think I like the outline ones better just based on what they look like, but let's see if they do bleed through. So, um, nope, I was, I was actually pretty careful and I didn't want to like, you know, really rub it that hard, but nope, they don't bleed through. There's just a very small amount of shadowing, but everything is still readable. So awesome. So yeah, that was honestly, basically what we were going to do today, just to have fun, see if the highlights work in here. I've done a couple heart pages in here. I really love working with the hearts. So yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Just a really simple, fun page just to, um, so you can do this in any Bible and it won't bleed through. So really nice to know because these are probably my thinnest Bible pages that I own. So it's nice to test those out. And yeah, so, so I forgot to use the transparent sticky notes because I did promise that I was going to use them so you can check them out and see how they work. So I think I'm just going to put down um, right here. So I'm going to use probably, I was going to use the pink, but it's awfully big. So I'm just going to use, um, maybe I'll use the green. I'm just going to put down a little note. Okay, so I have my note down, and I'm going to go ahead and use the sticky notes. So these are just plain sticky notes, but they are transparent, so you can see what's underneath, and you can, you can still move them around like a regular sticky note, but you can place it down on your Bible page like this, and, you know, um, you can still 
see stuff that's written underneath. Um, I honestly, I don't know if I really get like transparent notes. Like, yeah, you can read it underneath, but once you write something on there, you can't see underneath it. So I honestly don't get, maybe these are more for like highlighting. Like if you have big sections to highlight, maybe these will work a little bit better. But yeah, as soon as you write on something, you can't really see the words underneath. But I mean, obviously you can move it up and over and stuff. So, okay, so that is it. I think it turned out really cute. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will make sure to link the highlighters down below. So if you want to order them, you can check it out. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.